How's it going everyone? Welcome to Settle the Scoreboard. On this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chargers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yo, what happened? That was a completely shellacking by the Jacksonville Jaguars. That was embarrassing. And not because I think the Jags are a bad team. I really don't. I personally think Trevor Lawrence is still going to be a good QB in this league. Doug Peterson is a solid head coach. And that defense is solid. I mean, they have really nice pieces there. But it's embarrassing and because we were all hyping this up. Like, yo, Justin is going to play. If we have Justin, we can win. And we had Justin and still lost. So that begs the question, like, what else could it be, you know? Um, so there's actually a couple of things that I think contributed to this loss. And uh, one being the injuries. Yeah, we have suffered a lot of injuries. Uh, coming into this game, we had Keenan Allen out. We had uh, Corey Lindsley out. Donald Parham out. And Justin, Trey Pipkins, and... Uh, uh, JC Jackson was also out, but yeah, we had dudes that were playing hurt still. I don't know how hurt Justin Herbert is personally, but uh, yeah, the fact that he was out there, I don't think was a good idea to be honest. I really thought we should just throw in Chase Daniel and sacrifice his game, you know? I mean, that would have been less embarrassing because at least it would have been like, yo, Chase Daniel lost. It's cool, you know? But no, we lost to Justin Herbert, and that's why it's embarrassing because. He's supposed to carry this team. He's supposed to be generational, which I think he still is. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's just... I even wore my Phillip Rivers jersey trying to throw some extra luck out there, hoping he was looking down on us. I mean, he ain't dead, but, you know, I just wanted that extra luck on our side. But, yeah, so let's get into why I think we lost this game. Starting off with the injuries, obviously, as I mentioned. And also, I think that the play calling was just completely just ass. It sucked. It was not good at all. I mean, why are we still using Austin Eckler in the backfield as much as we are? Put the dude in the slot. Like, we have Joshua Kelly, who's actually pretty, pretty good. I think he's a solid running back now. We have... Uh, Isaiah Spiller that we haven't used. Put that dude in the backfield. Let's see what he's got. Like, activate this dude. You drafted him in the fourth round and you're not activating him? Yo, that's wrong. So the running game was just completely just not good at all. So aside from injuries and a terrible running game, a terrible offense and play calling overall, what happened to this defense? I mean, this was supposed to be one of the top defenses, which it looked like from week one to two. I know it was a short sample size, but it looked legit. And yeah, it did not look like anything that we we saw from week one to two. This game was just terrible. As soon as Joey Bosa went out, it was a wrap. Like, there were no plays being made on defense. Aside from Derwin James, but that's just Derwin James. That's what he does. But we couldn't get anything. We couldn't get any stops. They were just throwing on us or running on us. This defense does not look like it's been fixed. Uh, the run defense, that is. It does not look like it's been fixed at all. The every team is still running on us. I mean, I thought it was just oh, it's Josh Jacobs. You know, he's decent. Oh, it's Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He had like uh, he had a run on us for like I don't know, forty, fifty something yards or something. And I was like, all right, he's just one. But now like the Jacksonville Jaguars are just running and running and running on us. Like I don't know what that was. So aside from the offense and defense, like, I'm sorry to question this coaching staff. Like, I'm not going to be the guy, yo, fire Lombardi, fire Staley. Like, no, let's let's put the brakes on that real quick for a little bit at least. But uh, all I've heard this offseason is, oh, this is our offense, 2.2 or whatever they're saying. They're saying, like, we're going to be dominant. We're going to be aggressive. They compared themselves to the Golden State Warriors. Like, 
what <laughs> i do not see any of that whatsoever it does not look aggressive it does not look dominant it doesn't look like they're putting their money where their mouth is like we're supposed to have herbert we're supposed to have a good decent o-line like we're supposed we're supposed to a lot of things you know and it just none of it is clicking and i, I really don't know why um play calling definitely has a lot to do with it though we'll say that but now let's i guess let's go talk about the upsides if there is any really i mean there should be some right let's talk about it um one is that at least the chiefs and the raiders lost and the last time i checked the score the broncos were still losing to the niners so the AFC West, that looks like it's up for grabs. I mean, it's terrible as we're looking, and I don't think that we really have a lot going right now. Uh, neither does neither do the Raiders. Uh, the Chiefs are obviously missing Tyree Kill. The Broncos and uh, Hackett and Russell Wilson are absolutely garbage, if I could be honest. Uh, yeah, the AFC West is still up for grabs. I mean... We could still win the division, realistically. We could still make it to the playoffs. I mean, I don't know if we want to see this version of our team make it to the playoffs, but, you know, there's been worse teams to make it and make some noise. So, yeah, I guess we'll see, right? Because there's still a lot of season left. We have to remember, it's week three. Uh, if any time for there to be injuries, I guess, early on in the season, right? Where we could get everybody back healthy to make the playoff run. But, I mean, we have to win games to make it there to begin with, right? So, I guess it's, let's see what happens. I, let's not be so down on this team. There's still a lot of season left. We have Justin Herbert. We have a decent defense, I guess, if they don't really let up as much as they did uh, i think they're still decent so let's not uh get too down on this loss there's still time all right bolt up and i'll see you guys